हेलो एवरीवन कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सब्जेक्ट फार्मेकोग्नोसी लास्ट टाइम आई हैव गिवन यू एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ फार्मेकोग्नोस्टिक स्टडी ऑफ क्रूड ड्रग्स सो इन दैट व्हाट पैरामीटर्स वी शुड नो अबाउट ए पर्टिकुलर ड्रग दैट वी हैव कवर्ड एज ए सैम्पल वन ड्रग दैट इज बीजवैक्स वी हैव कवर्ड इन दैट लेक्चर सो रिगार्डिंग बीजवैक्स यू नो Uh, the synonym biological source with family chemical constituent and uses now beeswax is from pharmaceutical aids so our first category is pharmaceutical aids now here the question is asked on definition and classification so you should know the definition and classification with some examples from each category now before going in detail i will uh, let you know that we are starting now with the study of crude drugs so in that uh, in this second part of the chapter we have 84 crude drugs which are obtained from natural source so as a sample beeswax we have already covered now in pharmaceutical aid there are total 14 drugs so in that one drug beeswax we have already covered now as we will finish up these drugs so in pharmacognosy register also you must write down uh, synonym biological source with family chemical constant and uses of each drug isn't it so in every category like now pharmaceutical aids are there so in bracket you will write down 14 drugs then definition classification when it is over after that you will give heading beeswax then synonym then biological source then chemical constant and uses because the question is mainly asked on these parameters only now pharmaceutical aids the substances which have little or no therapeutic value therapeutic value means what the use in any disease or disorder when the drug is used so that we can say that it has got therapeutic activity isn't it so these substances they don't have therapeutic value they may have little or no therapeutic value but they are very essential in manufacturing or compounding of various pharmaceuticals or we can also say formulations formulations meaning tablet capsule uh syrup isn't it whatever the prep uh, preparations you will get examples in pharmaceutics subject isn't it so in that the these substances are used without these substances no formulation can be prepared that is the meaning of pharmaceutical aids now the important sources of pharmaceutical aids are animal source vegetable source mineral source or synthetic source they are not api api means active pharmaceutical ingredient this is the classification so individual classification also we are going to see and now you must know all these terms newer terms you are going to study so their definition with example you have to refer textbook or meaning also while explanation i will give you but you must know you must note down the meaning or definition of these terms also so same thing pharmaceutical aids substances which are of little or no therapeutic value but are essentially used in manufacture or compounding of various pharmaceuticals various formulations isn't it so whatever so many preparations are available on medical shop you know about tablet capsule isn't it or some small pills are there isn't it various liquid dosage forms are there then semi solid dosage forms are there ointments creams isn't it so for their preparation for their formulation these substances are needed they play important role these are called pharmaceutical aids or they are also called pharmaceutical necessities now the three important sources animal beeswax drug you already know then lanolin that is the hydrous wool fat 
वेजिटेबल सोर्स अकेशिया एंड ट्रैगेकांत मिनरल सोर्स केवलिन एंड सिंथेटिक यू जस्ट नो सम फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कवर एनी सिंथेटिक ड्रग लाइक एनी ड्रग यू कैन गिव एग्जाम्पल बोरिक एसिड डेक्सट्रोज एंड ऑल दैट नाउ क्लासिफिकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू यूज एंड एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एड्स एंड दैट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास इज कलरिंग एजेंट नाउ कलरिंग एजेंट मीन्स वॉट द एजेंट विच इज यूज फॉर पर्पज ऑफ इम्पार्टिंग कलर टू द फार्मुलेशन एजेंट इट सो मेनी सब्सटेंसेज आर यूज एज कलरिंग एजेंट हि नेचुरली ऑपरिंग आर सेफ्रॉन टर्मरिक इंडिगो सो टर्मरिक हेल्दी इट इज यूज इन मेनी आयुर्वेदिक प्रिपरेशन ऑल्सो एज ए कलरिंग एजेंट देन डायल्यूएंट नाउ डायल्यूएंट द केमिकल विच इज एडेड टू फार्मास्यूटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन टू एडजस्ट देअर स्ट्रेंथ और वेट नाउ हि वी कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लैक्टोस जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ दिस लैक्टोस इज ए इनर्ट सब्सटांस विच इज यूज टू गिव कंसिस्टेंसी टू द फॉर्मुलेशन लाइक टैबलेट नाउ से फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैलपॉल क्रोसिन मेटासीन टैबलेट यू नो दैट इज कंटेनिंग पैरासीटामॉल फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम बट फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पैरासीटामॉल इज द एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इनग्रीडियंट बट टू गिव द एडिक्युएट स्ट्रेंथ टू द फॉर्मुलेशन लैक्टिव इज यूज एज ए डायल्यूएंट सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डायल्यूएंट देन डिसइंटीग्रेटिंग एजेंट that is also used in uh, formulations so these substances are useful to disintegrate means they help that uh, system to break the tablet when it comes in contact with the water or any other liquid isn't it so disintegrating agent like starch then emulsifying and suspending agent so acacia agar gelatin acacia means dink you might be knowing emulsifying agent so with emulsifying agent that is used to uh, mix or form a homogeneous preparation now in emulsions both the phases are there oil and water now oil and water cannot be mixed as you know isn't it so emulsifying agent plays a role to prepare to make a homogeneous preparation isn't it then suspending agent so whatever the uh, solid preparation solid substances are there which are having less soluble solubility in the vehicle isn't it so to improve the solubility also the suspending agents are used in formulation then flavors so the particular agent which imparts a pleasant smell isn't or it is used flavor is used to mask the unacceptable odor or smell of the drug so here rose oil lemon oil orange oil can be used as a flavoring agent isn't it जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड जैसे कोई भी मिठाई अगर बनती है तो उसमें अच्छा फ्लेवर डाला जाता है सो इट गिवस ए प्लेजेंट स्मेल टू द प्रिपरेशन एजेंट इट देन लुब्रिकंट्स नाउ लुब्रिकंट इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल इन द फॉर्मुलेशन एजेंट इट लाइक टाल कोका पाउडर एजेंट इट देन ऑइनमेंट बेसिस लाइक बीज वैक्स वुल फैट so ointment bases are used in semi solid dosage form like creams uh, and uh, whatever the ointments are there like a example i will give you of bernal all of you might be knowing then soframycin cream so ointment base is used to formulate semi solid dosage form then solvents now solvent is also useful 
in these formulations like alcohol glycerin there is sweetening agent so the substances which are bitter in taste to make them acceptable to make them palatable the sweetening agents are used so naturally occurring sweetening agents are glyceriza and honey honey we will study in this pharmaceutical aid only whereas glyceriza has got some uh, important uses also that that we will cover in separate topic so that was a classification of the uh, pharmaceutical aids isn't it now we will start with the pharmacognostic study of 14 drugs which come under pharmaceutical aids now here already uh, beeswax we have covered isn't it so 13 drugs we have to cover isn't it few drugs we will cover today isn't it and then the remaining we will finish up in the next lecture now in this the first one is honey beeswax we have covered honey is the second one now the synonym honey all of you know mud isn't it all of you know mud so synonym other name is madhu or it is also called mel biological source it is a sugary secretion deposited in honeycomb by the bees so in beeswax also we have seen that it is a wax like substance isn't it which is obtained from honeycomb honeycomb i have given you the meaning that is madhumakhi ka chajja isn't it so it is obtained from honeycomb now honey in biological source you have to write down it is a sugary secretion and beeswax is a wax like substance isn't it that source is same it is obtained from honeycomb by the bees apis mellifica and apis dorsata family apidi isn't it at diploma level geographical source is not important just for information i have given you isn't it so that is synonym and biological source then chemical constituents you must know that it mainly contains 35 percent glucose 45 percent fructose 2 percent sucrose so these are simpler units of uh, you can say carbohydrates isn't it polysaccharide also in body when it is broken into simpler units so it will be in the form of uh, disaccharide and monosaccharide then other important contents are dextrin formic acid and enzymes it also contains succinic acid and gums so this is the main chemical contained of honey uses of honey so it is used as demulcent sweetening agent antiseptic and it is a vehicle for ayurvedic formulations so the uh, doctors who are giving ayurvedic treatment so many preparations are there which are to be given to the patient along with honey so honey acts as a vehicle and the active ingredient ayurvedic uh, medicine that gets absorbed readily through honey isn't it so these are important uses of honey so in this fashion uh, regarding each drug you have to cover synonym biological source chemical constant and uses so here two drugs we have covered first one was beeswax other is honey next is LHS oil now LHS oil means shengtil all of you might be knowing all of you are knowing isn't it well, our food is cooked in LHS oil now synonym is groundnut oil peanut oil isn't it now it is a fixed oil isn't it so biological source that LHS oil is a fixed oil expressed from the seeds now it is obtained from the seeds by compression by applying pressure 
isn't it? And the name of the species is Arachis hypogea. Family is Leguminosae. Family Leguminosae. Then, just to know about the solubility, so it is soluble in alcohol, that is organic solvents, whereas the chemical constituents of Arachis oil are that it contains glycerides of fatty acids. So fixed oil contain glycerides of fatty acids and these are mainly oleic acid, linoleic acid, stearic acid, arachidic acid, lignoceric acid and palmitic acid. Isn't it? So glycerides of fatty acids are present in fixed oil. Isn't it? Uses of arachis oil, so it is a, uh, you can say, lubricant, it is edible oil, edible means it is used in cooking, so isn't it? So every day, whatever the food is prepared, then we use arachis oil, so it is called edible oil, it is lubricant, it is also used as solvent for intramuscular injections, isn't it? Also, industrially, it is used in preparation of liniments, plasters, soaps, ointments, and creams. <clears throat> Next drug is kaolin. Now, kaolin is the drug which is from mineral source. The other names for kaolin are china clay, kaolinum proderism, porcelain clay, paper clay, white clay. These are the names which are used for kaolin. Now, it is a purified, now this we can say it is a biological source. Actually, why we are not saying biological source? Because it is the drug from mineral source, isn't it? So, we are not getting this drug from any plant. But, it is a purified native hydrated aluminum silicate which is free from gritty particles. This much one sentence you have to write down. It is a purified native hydrated aluminium silicate free from gritty particles. Now there are different uh, you can say types of kaolin. In that <coughs> heavy kaolin it is purified hydrated al aluminium silicate powder so as to make free from gritty particles by clustration. Now this is the process for separating particles based on their size, shape and density. Now other type is light kaolin which is lighter as compared to heavy kaolin. It is identical with heavy kaolin but it is limited to certain particle size like 10 micron isn't it whereas heavy kaolin is having 60 micron size and this light kaolin contains suitable dispersing agent and the third one is natural light kaolin which is also a native hydrated aluminium silicate free from gritty particles but it does not contain dispersing agent. So very little differences are there and it varies in the size, isn't it? Now these are so many uses of kaolin. So kaolin has got role, industrial uh, role, isn't it? Then uh, pharmaceutical role is there. Then in medicine also how it is useful that also we will see. So first of all it is used as filtering medium, it is used as filter aid, isn't it? So caustic alkali and bacterial filters they are used. Then it is used as heat resistant insulator, isn't it? Brake lining, fireproof clothing and gloves. Then it is used as adsorbent by oral administration. So adsorbent means what ki uh, there are there may be some uh, you can say poisonous substance. So that can be adsorbed. So many time 
the poisoning cases happen isn't it so in that case kaolin is used as a adsorbent it adsorbs poisonous substance isn't it in the body now it is used in treatment of enteritis that is inflammation in small intestine colitis dysentery and in alkaloid and food poisoning it is used as anti diarrheal also so in diarrhea also it is useful then externally it is used as dusting powder and also clarifying agent during filtration now it is useful in pharmaceutical preparations also isn't it then it is used as ingredient in toilet powder and a base of disinfectant powders isn't it used as filter in so many industries like paper rubber refractory ceramic cement and fertilizer industries now it is useful in anti caking preparations it is useful in cosmetic preparations in insecticides paints and as a source of alumina so so many important uses kaolin has got then next important drug is gelatin now gelatin is a protein isn't it so whenever the drug will get covered i will give you the idea that chemically what it is now till now we have seen the carbohydrate containing drugs also isn't it then fixed oil containing also like arachis oil isn't it so gelatin is a protein and it is obtained from animal source now other name for uh, gelatin is gelatinum pure gel or gel foam these are other names which can be used interchangeably biological sources it is a product obtained by partial hydrolysis of collagenous material isn't it so this gelatin it is obtained from animal source isn't it now from animal source whatever the uh, material is used isn't it that may be from animal isn't it so here geographical source we are not Uh, interested and as it is not in your uh, syllabus but just for your information it is displayed on the screen now biological source you must understand uh, carefully that gelatin is a product which is obtained by partial hydrolysis of collagenous material now this collagenous material it is uh, derived by boiling the animal tissues like skin tendons ligaments and bones with water then it is subjected to skimming and then straining that is the filtration isn't it so when the resultant liquid we get after filtration so that is evaporated at low temperature isn't it and then it is dried in air now chemical constituents of gelatin chemically it is a protein and the name of that protein is gluten now on hydrolysis this protein gives non essential amino acids what are amino acids we have studied in proteins in nutrition and health isn't it so we know about essential amino acids also as well as non essential amino acids also now there are so many important uses of gelatin first of all we will see that it is used as thickening agent so so many jams jellies that are you, you, uh, available in the market so in that gelatin is used as a thickening agent then it is used in manufacturing of capsule suppository paste isn't it it is used in cosmetics then gelatin is a valuable dietary supplement also so in diet we get this gelatin isn't it specifically those who are uh, non vegetarian isn't it so we get this gelatin from non vegetarian diet also 
then preparation of ice cream in that gelatin is used it is used in confectionery preparation of candies jellies meat extracts also it is used as antidote for halogen poisoning antidote means what the substance which neutralizes effect of poison so whenever poisoning happens in the body now poisoning may be due to different substances different elements so here halogens like iodine uh, fluorine bromine isn't it if poisoning is due to halogens so their gelatin can act as a antidote then it is used in preparation of nutrient media isn't it now nutrient media it is used in microbiology practicals so in microbiology chapter we will study in detail then it is substitute for blood plasma also and it is used in intravenous injection so many important uses are there for gelatin next is pectin now pectin it is a carbohydrate uh, material isn't it so chemically also it is a carbohydrate now how it is obtained that also we will cover isn't it now it is a complex carbohydrate found in nature in the middle lamella of plant cell forming colloidal solution in water now biological source we will see and then i'll give you idea that how this uh, pectin is obtained and in which part of the drug it is present now biological source that pectin is obtained by acid hydrolysis from inner portion of the rind of citrus peels now inner portion of the rind rind means what i'll just make you understand chilke isn't it sal in marathi you call isn't it now that is called peel also isn't it rind means we can say the cover jaise nimbu hota hai nimbu orange that is santre mosambi narangi isn't it so the rind that is the covering and peel means chilke so the external cover that is rich in pectin isn't it so pectin is obtained from acid hydrolysis from the inner portion of the rind of citrus peels like citrus lemonis which is a uh, lemon then citrus orange or citrus sinensis we can say isn't it and the family to which it belongs is rutaceae isn't it now these are important sources of pectin so we get from lemon peel orange peel apple pomes carrots sunflower heads papaya mangoes isn't it that is the external cover that is rich in pectin and pectin is a carbohydrate material now the uses or uh, before that uh, chemical constituents i will let you know hasn't it so pectin contains being it is a carbohydrate material it gives digalactuuronic acid methyl alcohol small amount of galactose and arabinose these are the main contents of pectin being it is a carbohydrate material so galactuuronic acid then methyl alcohol galactose and arabinose isn't it then uses so pectin is useful in treating diarrhea then internal or external hemorrhage that is loss of blood so that also can be prevented by pectin then it is a emulsifying agent thickening agent for sauces and jams now in the very uh, introduction i have given you meaning of all these terms like emulsifying agent disintegrating agent thickening agent isn't it so you must know the meaning of all these terms so that it will be beneficial for you to remember this it is also useful as encapsulating agent also <coughs> next drug is olive oil 
Now this is also a fixed soil. Synonym is oleum olivi. Biological sources. It is a fixed soil which is obtained by compression from the ripe fruits. We have seen arachis oil, which is a fixed oil obtained from seeds by compression, and olive oil is obtained from the fruits by compression of the species Olea europaea. Family is Oleaceae. Chemical constituents. So fatty acids are present like oleic acid, palmitic acid, or linoleic acid, isn't it? Or we you can write down that the olive oil contains fatty acids in the form of olein, palmitin, and linoleic. Uses of olive oils. So it is a emollient and soothing agent. That means now lubricants. Lubricant term is used for the substances which are used for uh, you can say formulations, isn't it? Or some any other you can say um, uh, two wheelers or four wheelers. In that lubricant, castrol oil is used. But when the same oil is used for living things, when it is used for human bodies externally, it is called emollient. And soothing agent. Then olive oil is also used to soften the skin and crust in eczema and psoriasis. So in different skin diseases also olive oil is useful. Then it is a nutrient. Now, uh, in case of small childrens, you see small childrens their massage is done. So olive oil is used as a nutrient. While doing massage to small childrens, then demulcent and mild laxative. Then it is used as a vehicle for oily suspensions for injections. So through injection, when some uh, you can say uh, drugs are to be administered in oily base, so there olive oil is useful as a vehicle. So here we have covered today six drugs and one beeswax that is uh, seven drugs total in pharmaceutical aids are covered. I hope you are understanding the topic and in this fashion in study of drugs you have to cover synonym, biological source with family, chemical constant and uses. Thank you.